back again doing another mail day. We started off real quick. We got this zero two. It's the trial deck one. I like this card a lot. Only problem I have with it is if you compare it to the booster version, the booster box version, it is very dark. Like if you just notice the trial deck on the left, it is incredibly dark compared to the regular booster version on the right. Only little issue I have with it. Still an absolutely gorgeous pair to have. Just wish this card wasn't so dark when it's not in direct camera light. Next we got another congratulations. This is the second one I have now. I originally assumed there was around 300 by the information I could find. But actually after going through the voice Schwartz's official website. It seems there's only a little bit under 100. So this card's a lot rarer than I initially thought. So it's very nice to actually find some more of these in very nice condition. I'm trying to do a full play set, but I'm up to two so far. Very, very nice. Congratulations, Karumi. Got some of my Bang Dream stuff. Crystal Song Yukuna. This one I think is the, I believe this one is in the trial deck. Or it might be the trial deck version. I can't exactly remember. Top of my head. It's a very, very nice Yukuna. Been going through and getting a lot of the Bang Dream cards I've wanted for a while. Got the, is this Tears Overflowing? Yeah, Tears Overflowing, you can, uh, This one is the B version, I believe. Yeah, it should say in the bottom. SPM B. All that changes with the A and B version is the signature on this one is blue. The other one will be gold. It's the only difference that'll ever be between the A and B versions. Just the B version will have a different signature color. Still an absolute gorgeous you can, uh, though. Moving on to all my sleeved cards. What is this, the protagonist? Yeah, Okami, protagonist. Persona 4 SP. Picked this up and it went up randomly just because it was cheap and I like Persona 4. Nothing super huge to say about it. Got a Haruhi SP. SOS Brigade Leader. Very, very gorgeous SP. Kind of want to maybe go for all the Haruhis. Or Haruhis, yeah, Haruhi. But this one's probably one of the coolest ones they have. So I thought I'd get it first. I got both my Akatsuki's in finally from Lock Horizon. This is the first one. Very, very gorgeous. Took me quite a while, like some like three or four months to actually get the Akatsuki's for good prices. Now that I finally got them, Lock Horizon's finally finished. This is the second one, the Lord Ninja Akatsuki compared to just the normal Akatsuki. They're very, very similar, like just the very, very similar art variations. Just slightly different. But needed both of them, so I had to get them both. I got two more of these Intense Shout promos. Very, very good. Cool. I personally kind of maybe want to get the Championship version, which will say like Springfest Champion on the bottom, compared to the Booster Box promo version, or sorry, Case promo version, which is what these are. And I still love it how the Rosalia foiling is always going to be different. This one's red on the R. This one is only half red in the R. Very, very cool. Basically, every single one is unique. I got one of the judge promos I still needed. I think there's five different judge promos now, and I've got two out of the five. It was the Lilin. This is the only SAO one. I think there's also a Madoka Magica. We hit two Tenzai, or Tenzin. And I think a Goblin Slayer. Oh, and a Bang Dream one. There's also a Bang, or Bang Dream one. Got a random Batman Ninja PR. Kind of think this one isn't that great, but I'm like, yeah. Batman's always cool. Got a sealed pack of eight of these Rimuru cha not Championship store promos. Pretty cool. Got this as a random bonus when I ordered some stuff. Same with the Batman promo. So, always cool to get little extra things. Next, we got something a little bit bigger to display. This is a Sparkling Collection. Bang Dream Sparkling Collection book. It has five promo cards that are all signed. It is all the main band leaders. There was only 600 of these made, I believe, in the 2018 Expo. Share Expo event. They're not insanely expensive. They're like 200 to 300 bucks, depending on like what the condition of everything is. Which all these cards are mint, so I paid a bit more. But it's very, very cool. I think the artwork on the actual 
booklet is very, very nice. And since most people seem like they threw these booklets out, because every single time you see one of these cards sold individually, there's no longer a full booklet of all five together. Speaking of the booklet, I have four more of the actual promo from it. This is the what? Yeah, Kokoro. I picked these up as just a playset right after I got the booklet. Just because I'm like, hey, the, this is what I mean by how there's no way near, anywhere near, probably even half of those booklets fully completed. Because here's another four booklets right here that are not complete. Because I have one of each of the promo from it. They're very cool. They're only like $20 or something like that each, like 20 30 bucks for each of the promos. Yukon is like 50 60 so they're not... Again, the promos aren't super expensive, even though they're like signed promos. And it's kind of weird that they don't even have promo in the actual bottom of the name, but very, very cool card still. Moving on to my Japanese cards, or the rest of my Japanese cards outside of the Zero Two. We got four of the Serious Face Hitagi Bakemonogatari Season 2. They're all basically near main condition. Took me quite a while to finally finish my Bakemonogatari set of Hitagi. It's the last card I needed. And these cards are absolutely gorgeous. And now I'm finally finished it, including the stuff in the background in these. My Hitagi collection is finally done. We got a Symphogear SSP. This is the Collecting Thoughts to Saba? Yeah, I think you pronounce her name. I'm always terrible at pronouncing her name. Thing about the Star Foils, or the SSPs, is I love how they're rainbowed. The signature is all rainbowed, which is probably the coolest thing about a lot of the Japanese SSPs. They don't do it for every set, but some of them they do, and the ones they do look absolutely beautiful. I think I need two more Tusabas, and then I'm done with Sinful Gear as well. This was the only, I think I need one more SSP, and then one SP as well. This one was probably one of the more annoying ones, because it's one of the pricier ones, so I thought I'd get it out of the way first. Got two of these songstress trapped in a birdcage, or inside a birdcage, how you technically translate it. These are the Yukina SPs, from I believe Volume 2 of Bang Dream, I want to say. Hard for me, hard to forget how many, sorry, hard to remember how many Bang Dream sets there is. There's something like eight or nine Bang Dream sets now, it's just ridiculous. This is the SP version A, which you'll see right down there, SPA slash SP, which has just the, the gold signature on both of these. you notice in a second why I said that, because the next one I'll show is the SP version B, which will have a different color signature. That one I'm talking about is this one. This is the Searching for an Answer Yukina. And you notice how it has... Tailing coat instead of that, like a purple signature? And it is... The SPB version. It's a different card entirely, but you... Just the SPA and SPV... SPB... SPB... Have different signature versions. Very, very cool card. I think I need like three or four more Yukinas. And I have every Yukina left. It's pretty sick. I got some more promos. These are, I believe, these are the Let's Go Yukina Stamped PR. These are the League versions. Yeah, Weishworks Tournament League. The Japanese versions. There's no English versions of these, but these are really cool to have, honestly. I got these other two ones, which are from a different league. These ones, I believe, are the R Band Activity Yukina. They're very, very cool. This one, I think, is the later one that came out in midsummer. The other one came out, I think, early spring, I believe, of 2021. But they're still definitely gorgeous. There's one more I said I need from, I believe, 5th Anniversary. And then outside of that, I'll have every, like, special stamped version. Because these cards just look... They look really dang cool with the little, st little stamps on them. Always a big fan of stamped versions of stuff. We got some Smile for the World Kokuris. I believe these are the SPB versions. Oh, they're the A version. They actually are the A. I have some reason these were the B versions. They're very, very cool. They're pretty cheap as well. These are like $20 a piece or something, or like $15. They're real cheap, but they're also just super cool looking. Pretty big fan of Yukina. No, Yukina. Kokiri. <laughs> completely wrong character. That is a completely different character. But I picked up the PRs, so I was like, I'll pick up some of the SPs that have the same art style as it. It's like really cool. We got a life-size night sky, Ran. Ran. Nice little Ran. This, I believe, is from the 5th Anniversary set, which is the newest Bang Dream set they just made. 
I literally got it just because I'm a huge fan of the moon. The way the moon foils with the red in the background looks beautiful. One of my favorite like Magic the Gathering cards is Blood Moon. I own every different variation of Blood Moon, like foil, invocation, dark, like every single different version, just because I love the how much the moon looks. And I'm probably gonna put this with that set. Because I love how gorgeous it looks. Oh yeah, I forgot about these. I got the going first and going second. These are the, again, 5th anniversary, the newest set. These are just the first, going first, going second cards that you use for playing the game. Just decide who goes first and who goes second. They're just kind of cool. As Yukina on it, so, as Yukina, Kokiri, like, perfect. Best two characters, both in the same cards. Kind of wish they weren't sideways, wish they were width, but they're still definitely cool. Next we got a Police Officer Daughter Jury. I believe this one is a D side, I believe. That's the series it's from. Kind of just liked it because I'll... I'm someone who, as long as I like the artwork of a card, I'll buy it regardless of if I like the series or not. So if, if, if a card looks cool enough, and it's... If it's not super expensive, I'll just buy it. But if it's expensive, it has to be something I'll actually enjoy. I'll probably check out D side, but... Card looks pretty dang cool just on its own. Got a... What is this? Fourth? Mercury class heavy cruiser, yeah, it's the canine, canine heavy cruiser. This is Concoli set two, I want to believe. Yeah, this is set two, I believe. I don't think it was set one. Very very cool card. I like how all the background is all hearts that are all shimmering. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, next I forgot about this. This is I believe my only Vanguard thing I opened. I got a couple extra campaign promo pack 2 boosters, which are these. You open this, you get one card out of it, and this is the one special card that has limited at a 999 out of all of the like tens of thousands of those promo packs they make. It's only worth like 30 bucks, 40 bucks, something like that, but it was pretty cool because I got a bunch of, bo I got like four or five of like the bonus little promo packs from someone I ordered, buying some Weishford stuff. Pulled this, it was like, oh, sick. Pretty darn cool. Haven't touched Vanguard in like five, six years, but hey, I'll take a pretty cool limited card. Pretty awesome. Got some promos from Blackrock Shooter. Same series as those two in the background. Absolutely love this series. I'm trying to do every single card from the set, but they get stuff to Canada that isn't outrageously expensive for like 25, 50 cent cards. Just doesn't make sense. These are the two out of three promos I have. I honestly love this Christmas promo. Christmas promo was really darn cool. And then the one Deathmaster promo that they made. There's one other promo I'm missing, but again, if I can't find them for like relative, like a bunch of them at once, it's not no point in me buying a 25 cent card and paying $50 in shipping or something stupid. Very last thing, I have a bunch of the foil R bars. I kind of don't like how they don't have SR on them anymore. They just are regular foil rares from back then. Got a bunch of black rock shooters. Got a couple of these. Got some sick looking death masters. Which I like how these are these two versions are the same as the signatures in the background. Probably one of the best arts in the whole series. We got some more black rock shooter SPs and not SPs, just regular SRs. These are just all the rare spoil ones I picked up. They're all just honestly super cool. This one is like Gleaming Smile, or this one is. They're all super, super cool to me. I'm just hoping one day I can maybe finish the full set. Probably just proxy by it. Until then, I'm super stoked the ones I got. Well, that'll be all for this month. If you liked what you saw, like and subscribe, because I got a bunch more Fate slash Knight, Fate slash Zero, and a lot of other Weishwood stuff to go over next month.